Snowplows had a busy day clearing major routes after this morning's snowfall dumped a fresh coating across the region. <laughs> Not a fan of it. No. No, I'm ready, ready for some warm weather. In Toledo, folks quickly got to work tackling the sidewalks. The roads in the city were wet, playing a role in several fender benders. This was I-75 just after noon. The northbound lanes backed up at a standstill due to several spin-out accidents near the DeSalle Bridge. About an hour earlier, this accident at Detroit and South sent one person to UTMC. That person is expected to be okay. Toledo police say one vehicle made a left-hand turn when it wasn't supposed to. The second vehicle couldn't stop to avoid the crash. In Seneca County, the Sheriff's Department issued a level one snow emergency. That's because the rural roads look like this. Depending on if you're on a state or county road, I mean, state puts a lot more salt down than the county does, but township roads are kind of horrible. Chuck Wilbert lives in Fort Ball. He enjoys any opportunity to hop on his machine, considering last winter he didn't need it at all. We got 16 horse, and you can chew through a pretty good drift with it. Are you cold? No, I just started, so I'm not cold yet. <laughs> <laughs> I stay pretty warm. I got quite a few layers on. I'm out here for six hours at a time sometimes because I go from the rail track through up to the school on the sidewalk. I do for the neighbors, and a lot of times it takes me an hour to do my own here. <laughs> So I have a lot of fun doing it, though. Reporting from Seneca County, Christine Long, 13ABC Action News.